Hi everyone, it's Angry Turtle and it is happening. For good or for bad, it is happening. Illegal weapon mod removal update and wicked events that is inside the vault for this week. And look at that. This week we have a smaller update on Tuesday. I would call it a huge update on Tuesday that brings various bug fixes and improvements to Appalachia along with the implementation of a system that removes illegal weapon mods and attachments. Translation Legacy Weapons Upcoming update Tuesday, January 24th at 10 a.m. Easter time, which is less than 24 hours from now. It's tomorrow. We are bringing Fallout 76 offline across all platforms to apply an update. This update is focused on bug fixes and improvements, but also includes the illegal weapon mod removal we announced in November. What does this mean for my weapons? For a great majority of our player base, you will not notice any changes to your weapons. This system will detect weapon mod attachments placed on weapons that they don't naturally belong to and cannot be obtained through gameplay. And here I will clarify, cannot currently be obtained through gameplay, because those weapons could have been obtained through gameplay several years ago. In addition to this, weapons with mods that we have removed from the drop pool previously in balance adjustments will also be impact impacted. So that's what I just said, the legacy weapons that have been legitimate weapons in the past, but then it was removed from the drop pool, will be impacted, so it will be removed. I'm especially happy about hacked weapons being removed, but those weapons, some of the legacy weapons were just a collectibles, as it says here. This includes weapons such as stalkers, shovels, explosive dragons and explosive energy weapons. Obviously, weapon like a stalker's shovels, those were just a collectibles and they will be removed as well. Because everything that cannot be currently obtained in the game will be removed. This implementation is to ensure that all players have the same advantages as you, which is actually good whether this be in events, daily ops, Scorch Earth and more, all players must adhere to the terms and conditions and regulations signed. But that's one thing, the legacy weapons is separate. Legacy weapons were never against terms of conditions. Those were weapons obtained by the gameplay in the past. But I agree that new players should be on the same playing field as existing players. Is implementation of this patch as we all want it to be? It is not. It is better than nothing? Probably. Then we have weapon improvements, which is most likely a good thing. It says, additionally, we are making a few changes to existing weapons, a few of these changes being. So there will be more by this sentence, a few of these changes being. So I hope we'll get a detailed patch notes tomorrow when the patch drops, as I have no idea what other changes will be implemented. First, assault rifles will now correctly have the rifle classification regardless of how it is modded. Explosive bullets now only apply to bullets. Railway spikes excluded. And that wording is a little bit weird for me, but after talking with people on the live stream, it looked like railway spikes excluded here means that railway spikes will still be able to drop as explosive spikes. That's most likely what they mean. So they say only to bullets, but as well to spikes, and I bet as well to shotguns, even though shotguns do not 
fire bullet. So we'll see, but that's how I see it. Next. Handy buzz blades will have greatly reduced VAT's AP consumption, which is a good thing. Radium rifles will have an increased rate to learn mods when scrapping. So no more scrapping of thousands of radium rifles to get mods. That was most likely a bug, that it was so hard to unlock those mods, so that will be addressed. And gunpowder is now categorized as junk scrap. So it will go into the scrap box, which is huge because gunpowder tend to be really heavy. And lastly, we look forward to bringing you these upcoming changes and more on Tuesday, January 24th. Keep an eye out on the following locations for updates to the maintenance window and there are links here. Inside the vault, I will put a link under the video if you want to read it one more time by yourself. But this is what is happening. For good or for bad, it is happening. Depend on your position. It will be good for you or bad for you. But regardless of that, it is happening tomorrow. So be ready. And as always, I'm waiting for your comments. What do you think? Please share with us. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.